Today's a very special day. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't even know who Mari is. If you don't, put a Humegalol in chat. Totally understandable. She's never been on my stream. She's never subbed or never donated. I pull up her stream like once every three months, uh, hoping that someone in her chat doesn't say who in the, who's in the car, and then I leave immediately. All right, if you do not know who Mari is, Mari is a woman. Mari is a full-on W community member. So let me draw out how the W community works. That is currently what it's like right now. Now, Mari, if I was gonna put her on this list, Trapaholics, Mari is like right here. She's so far out of bounds. She's been full W her entire life. She doesn't know anything about the community. She doesn't even know anything about Twitch. I said, come on over. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the great, wonderful, my first student. We have Mari, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Oh, and she's a woman. You're the first girl to ever go on my stream. Yeah. So chat, if you don't know who Mari is, I literally just explained it, okay? So I explained it to my chat. Oh, really? Yeah. I already, I, I laid out the four nations. You got fire, war, fire, <laughs> earth, water, air, Spanish. right? Spanish? Oh yeah, Spanish is a whole nother like realm. Yeah, I'd say they're probably like the earth community in this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. The VTubers, I mean, what the f are they at this point? I fuck with VTubers. You do? Yeah. I thought you are from the W community. I know, so that means that I don't, with like PNG images. Well, I thought like it was like this. Like you guys are kind of like the Fire Nation. You know what I mean? Like you guys are like closed off, and you're trying to take over all the other nations. Well, oh we're... wait, is that choppy? Class is about to begin. Are you ready to learn? Oh, wait, okay. You actually have a PowerPoint. I actually know this is a Google. Mari, what did you tell me to do? You I, said you. I, I, I would assume that you would have PowerPoint. You know, since you're rich and everything. So. Isn't a slideshow a PowerPoint? I know, but like this is like. Whatever. Story of hate, love, hate, betrayal, and forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of... The story of Twitch is a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story of love, hate, betrayal, and forgiveness. You said mm -hmm. you watched Title One. No. Okay. Isn't that the one that screams and that's bald? Wait, you don't... You don't know what Title One looks like? I do, but... Yeah, that's the buff dude that's, like, bald. Goes screams. to Saudi Arabia a lot, gets good deals there, comes back. I don't back. know any of that, but... I don't think I ever watched one of his streams before. It's one... It's all the same he basically sits there, Michaela's trying to get attention, and he plays League for 14 hours. You don't, I, I do see Michaela on Twitter, though. You don't have to watch his streams anymore. I mean, they're not like... Uh, Tyler, but Tyler doesn't care. Mm. But, like, old Tyler, I mean, a lot of my viewers, like, I would say almost most of them watched old Tyler back in the mm -hmm. day, and he was kind of like a god. I would believe that. Like, old Tyler... Like, wouldn't he, like, always have clips? And sh it's not even that he would have clips. It was just, like, the streams were just great. I mean, like, mm. he was... He was so good in like 2017, but that was seven years ago. But he, it was him in Greek. Do you know who Greek is? I, I think I know what he looks like. I don't, I know who he is though. Yeah. All right. So let's start. Let's start from the top. Ah, crap. I don't even know where to put my. Put his bottom right. Yeah. There we go. All right. So here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to go over everything. So I'm going to teach her everything about Twitch. Okay. All right. So. Did you know that Twitch was introduced as Justin TV back in the day? I know that, yeah. Okay. So Justin Ka Justin Can, who's this guy, right? Okay. He made Justin TV with a guy named Emmett Shear, who was the CEO of Twitch for like 10 years. Mm. All right? They made it to have it like reality TV. They wanted to have it where it's like a bunch of people have cameras and houses and stuff like that. Oh. And it, But it didn't work, right? Isn't that what Twitch is now, though? Reality TV? You would say my stream's like reality TV? No. People like a lot of IRLs though, and like when people do subathons and like they have cameras in every place of the house. This is what, low key, it turned into. You're right. It did. Yeah. It did. With all everyone having their phones out nonstop. Yeah. It yeah. it kind of did turn into that. But but before he wanted it, the technology wasn't there, and then gaming was growing in popularity. People wanted streams. Like there was a website that was before Justin TV. Mm. Chat. What was that one website called? It's where Soda Pop used to stream. Mixer. No, it wasn't Flag Mixer. Race. No, 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 no. Keep going. Um, that was called X Fire. So uh, there's there was already websites, but Justin TV was like the first one that looked actually really good. Mm. And uh, they had lawsuits. They rebranded to Twitch and became a streaming service for gaming. So they rebranded Twitch. Want to chat if you were here in June 6, thousand eleven? I was not. I'll be honest. I, don't I was. Even know how old I was? Wait, because in two thousand eight I was five. So six. Wait, can someone else do the math? Five, six, seven, eight. How old are you again? 21. When was your birthday? July 31st. 2003? Yeah. 
Uh, you were. I was eight. Someone said eight. So I'm saying seven. So eight. Wait, what was your first console? GameCube. And then my mom pawn shopped it. You know. Wait, what was your favorite game? My mom bought me two games. It was one. One was one was. Dora and the Purple Planet. No wonder you're f***ed up. That game's f***ing insane. Dora and the what the f***? Dora. It was no Dora in the Purple Planet or something like that. Yeah, that one. I never beat that game. By the way, it was so hard during that time. Journey to the Purple Planet by Dora. Holy. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of lore to this game. It was kind of cool, but yeah. All right, what was your second game you had? I'm gonna be honest, I forgot. It was probably some. It was probably some. Yeah, my mom didn't buy me like the actual good games. So, like, were you growing up? Did you not play games at all? No, I I was mainly like a Wii Nintendo kid. Like, I had, like, the first DS, and then, like, I transitioned to, like, the Wii. Yeah. Oh, yeah, didn't... I, isn't everybody basically grow up on the Wii who was your age? I mean, I think so, because it was, like, the 2000s thing, right? But, like, I never had, like, a PS, like, P PlayStation. I only had, like, an Xbox 360, like, one of the main consoles. Yeah, but honestly, Xbox 360 is so f***ing good, you didn't need another console. Yeah. That was the greatest console yeah, that was time. the only good Xbox, I would say, though. Being truthful. Did you play original Xbox? No. Well, then how the fuck would you know? Because the Xbox 360 is just the prime Xbox. Like you have the I mean, it was, you have the avatars and everything on that shit. No, it was it was definitely the best console of all time. I always say that to my chat. I do believe it's the best console. All right, so what the fuck is this? I'm Asim Bully, MTV News webcam correspondent, delivering to you news from the, what the online hell is this? social scene. I've never even seen this. Live streaming video with chat rooms. Now, usually that implies only one thing here on the web. But thanks to the team over at Justin.TV, even Grandma Constance can enjoy this one. No, well, really, it's work safe. Like Check it out. Okay, no Justin way! TV, which is a website that broadcasts your life live 24-7 from your point trailer, of view. Though. That's like, right, 24-7, all day, every day from this camera. How does it work? It's rigged to your hat and it just transmits the signal? Yeah, I clip it onto my hat and it goes to our backpack, which uh, has some cell phone data cards in it and streams live 24-7. Yeah, this was this was the original Justin TV. So this is like, it. it it's, it, he was IRL streaming, what, 13 years ago in the back of a taxi? With the internet. Everything. Everything from, you know, going on dates to walk around. What? He was farming Parasocial, so he was the first Parasocial streamer, was the CEO and owner of this website. Well, actually, Justin Can. Wow, so his initial plan actually worked out. Yes. Wow. Kind of. He wanted Parasocial viewers, and it fucking worked. I'm but that's the website. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to like, like, why can't we go back to the old days where Twitch is just gaming? Like, this is what he intended the platform to be. Yeah. I wrote yes, but he wanted that. But the thing is, people don't know this side. You gotta realize, that this is probably like 2% of the viewers who still are on Twitch watch Twitch like this today. Or mm -hmm. like are still, like even know that this was existing, right? Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't even around and I'm considered like a legend or something. I don't remember what people tell me, but. So these are some of the old emotes of Twitch. Do you know any of these emotes whatsoever? Um, Bible Thump. Okay, you know Bible Thump. Okay, Pog. Um, this is the dude that's like, the connection's bad. Yeah, disconnect the thing. Disconnect uh, bag, yeah. Yeah, uh, Kappa. Okay, so you know some of them, Kappa. Yeah, and Try Hard. Why, well, I, I don't know, I've, I've heard that people were like racist with that. They used to be racist with it. Mm. And I, like, it, like, the thing is with Try Hard, it is an emote that people are like, could be racist towards and like, do act in a way where they're spamming mods. Um, <laughs> be, like, people definitely can use it for racism. Mm -hmm. But honestly, the emote that was used the most for racism a lot of times was that one? Was Kamambra. Hmm. Kamambra was really bad. So like in 2018, 19, they were always like, you'd be like. Oh, you just see a black person and you spam it. Yeah, they would, or they'd, well, sometimes actually usually try hard with spam for that shit. Hmm. But then they would try to be like, oh, like I, I bought a, I bought some black licorice. They'd be like, eh, what you mean black? And they would just constantly do it. It was an annoying emote, honestly. Like, oh, I ate some fried chicken. And yeah. And like, they'd be like, on, what you mean fried chicken? That's what they always say. Hmm. Man, what you mean? Okay. Try Hard was uh, a really racist emote for like four years. I would say it was used in a, a way for black people. Mm. Uh, but now it's kind of not. I don't even think your community spam Try Hard. No. I don't even think they put it in the chat. Like at all. Maybe I should go over to your chat sometime and teach them Try Hard. Wouldn't they want to learn that from me? Like, hey guys, look at this. 
And start spamming tryhard? I don't think they would use that. I mean, that emo. Yeah, look, my mom's saying we good. Uh, so then there's classics. This guy's a, a very famous Twitch uh, employee. His name is Pluto. Mm. Um, this is a crying baby. It's on his baby rage. You ever hear of PogChamp? Yeah. Did you ever hear the lore on PogChamp? Yeah, did, wasn't he like racist or something? Or like he had bad like political views? Something like down. that. Yeah. Something like that. But that was one of the most famous emotes. Probably the most famous emote that I knew of is PogChamp. It was used everywhere. Mm. My little PogChamp. You know, when I was a, a brony, when I watched My Little Pony, people would say my... I used to watch, like, a brony YouTuber, but... Wait, who? It was, like, this, like, black dude. Oh, uh, Yo. What were you doing on YouTube, like, eight years ago? Like, what was I looking up? You're good. What up, dog? What up, what that was a horrible dab. Okay, let, that's me, let, let me try. That, that, that's nice a handshake. Nice <laughs> that's a fucking okay. handshake. <clears throat> you have a trash can? Just throw it on the ground. Everywhere. I, I don't. That's fucked up. Wait, what even is this? It's supposed to be like a game, like an arcade room. Yeah, yeah it's like the resemble an arcade. Like, you ever been in an arcade back in the day, like the 90s? Hey, did you, um, can you take a Gatorade for me? You mean my Gatorade? No. Well, I'm saying like, yeah, because there was one Gatorade missing and I stole two from you. So I was like, okay, you take that one and I put the other oh, one. I'm sorry, Russell. No, I didn't take it. I, oh. I didn't take my own Gatorade. I'm sorry. Well, no, I, no, I'm saying like, because so, I, got, I got you one. Here's, here, oh. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Yeah. So Russell yesterday went on Jason the Ween stream and killed it. <laughs> what does killed it mean? Like, I feel like everyone was kind of like not knowing what to do and like, like Jason's like saying things. But Russell was just on it. He's like, blah, 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 blah. And the chat started spamming W Russell because they <laughs> fucked with him so hard. So now Russell's like kind of like, I mean, we got to go back to the chart. Uh, where'd the chart go? But Russell's kind of like, you know. He's edging. He's definitely edging. Like this is the W queen. He's like, like here right now, I think. Ooh, but I'm, I'm close. You're close. I'm close. So, so Mari told me I'm like here. Cause I want to be in, but like I'm not, and I'm not even in the poggers anymore. You are. Why are you trying Bro, to like? No, you're like exclude yourself. See, I, say, I told him he's like in the middle of the poggers. Yeah, too. I mean, you kind of are the like you're kind of like the king of that community. You know? Yeah, like, you're still. No. Like, why do you want to leave so bad? Well, I mean, w, I mean, the W community is pretty sick. Like, I I don't want to be here either. So. Oh. Dude, I want to move. Like, I, I want to go here, this faraway land. You want to go to kick? I can conquer all. Yes, I'll go to kick. Okay, he wants to go north. I want to go east. Wait, how do north? you want to go to Saudi too? No, east. That's west. I want to go east. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you want to go east? Yes. Okay, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, like I okay, don't. But I don't want to put my gum on the floor. Oh, uh, okay. You yep. just. Tommy, do you want it? On the table if you give my <laughs> cat gum, <laughs> Mari. I will never talk to you again. Just spit on the table or something. You just have like a rogue. See, that's what I'm saying. That's why it doesn't matter. Just has a rogue. Eat it. I don't know why you think you wouldn't. Mari, right, I've eaten pig brains, insects. I'll that's literally do anything for content. Disgusting. I don't care. I'll put it in here. <laughs> it's my f***ing bag, you prick. Bro, at least not on your f***ing floor. I All right. your shoes. I gotta, wait, mine? Yeah. Oh, you thanks. Your toes done. Yeah, I know. I want to actually get them done very soon. Yo. I'm uh, I'm gonna head to the gym though, so I'll see you guys. Well, wow, she's looking a little ashy. Thank you. That's not a compliment, dude. Oh. Okay. That's yeah. Sorry. Like, you could have said anything. Anything else better would have been good. <laughs> Come on, bro. Say something. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Just. Say W fit, bro. Oh, W fit. Your yeah. eats today were insane. Yes. Yeah, see, there you go, bro. There you go. W eats. Russell, I'm teaching her the, the worlds of Twitch. Ooh, Mari, you don't know you don't know Twitchy mode. She doesn't know Forzen. Here, wait, get closer. The mic. Well, you don't know Forzen? Yep, she doesn't even know who Forzen is. What? Yep. He died. Rest in peace. So sad. He did. He died. Yeah, he died. Really? really Are sad. you serious? Yeah. Like he's gone. Him and his wife Nina. Yeah. Yes, they died in a boat accident. Rest in peace. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Like, put it on something. Uh, I'll, I'll put it on Forza. He's on, dead. On, on Forza, yeah. Fuck it. I mean, Chad, is he dead? Yes. Look at Chad. In he our hearts, dies for our sins. Stop lying to her. Okay. 
See? Why do you drink out of a mason jar? So what I'm oh, uh, uh, one of my Dude. exes got us a bunch of mason jars. I never know. But. So, um, <laughs> oh the the love jar, the love note jar. I know that. Yes, yes. She got a bunch of love, or he got a bunch of love note jars for her. It was sweet. Aww. It was cute. It was so cute. Wait, can I read one? Do you still have it? I yeah. want to read a note. Wait, I want to read a note. Russell, do you know where it is? No, I don't. No, know I want to read a note. It? Wait, okay, I know where it is. I'll, I'll get it, and then I, and then I have to go. Okay. Yay. So what? Like what I just did to you, I lied to you, and you fell for it. That's called a debate. I was really excited. That's really fucked up. That Forzen died. No, what? I'm talking about the love note jar. Wait, why are you excited? Why are you? Why are you say it's fucked up? What? Like, like you lied about? You're confusing me. I said it's fucked up because I thought you lied about letting me read a note from the jar. You can read a note from the jar. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Well, that's like so three years ago. Like I don't give. A I don't care. You do whatever you want. It's kind of recent, isn't it? Three years ago. No, three years. Three years in the entertainment industry. I feel like it's like five, three centuries. It feels mm. like it's forever. Like I, it feels like it was a different life of mine. Mm. Didn't yeah. you just say three years? You don't even feel like you're the same person. Yeah, but I was a teenager and I'm an adult now, so it's different. Oh my god! Wait, were you smart in school? No. What kind of grade you get? I don't want to get into that. It's kind of like crazy. Like, uh, cause like my last year of high school was COVID. So I would like wake up and get in like um, a Zoom call. A Zoom call, but I would not like actually like get up and do that. I would go and just stream. Wait, that blows. Yeah, I didn't you... get a graduation. I didn't get prom or anything. Yeah. Well, you know what's crazy? I didn't get a prom either. Well, th was that like your choice or your school's? Or... It wasn't my choice or my school's. What happened? <sighs> I asked a girl named Sarah, and she said yes, and I got really excited, and I was planning our, our lives together, basically, and I was so happy, and then I found out the next day that she started to date a guy Dude. named Nick. Couldn't find your love jar, man. I'm sorry. You, 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 you took two minutes to look. Did you even try? I looked at all the spots. I know it's where it is. I know where it is. But anyway, yeah, this girl Sarah ripped my heart together. I got so upset. I didn't go to prom, but I played Halo the entire night. Awesome. Sarah's probably, you know, in a bad place right now, so that's all you got to think about. Oh, uh, no, she works at Goldman Sachs. What does that mean? It is a bad place. Oh, so she is <laughs> in a bad place. That's good. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Russell. Yeah, but I'm grateful that, like, I uh, I grew up on the internet because then I was, like, an e-dater. Okay. You, you used to e-date? Yeah, seriously. So I'm happy because like I didn't really like like talk to guys at my school and I I did like since I was already on the internet e dating like oh I spent a lot of my time on the internet modding for people's chats. Why would that make you happy that you were just hanging out with guys that you'll never meet? Were you one of those girls that thought you were gonna marry the guy that you were dating on Discord and you're like, well you know he can come here like twice a month and I can go there twice a month and we can schedule this and we can come together. Yeah. I did that too. Sleep calls, you know. Mm. Things that should not be named. I did that with one girl. So I did that with one chick when I was uh, playing World of Warcraft. Her name was Exiance. I love you, Exiance, still. And uh, she had a friend named Deathrock. And I started hanging out with Exiance a lot. And then this girl, Deathrock, who was a night elf, World of Warcraft. You know World of Warcraft, obviously. No. Yeah. So this girl who was a World of Warcraft, she was a, a night elf, uh, started hanging out with me a lot. And she's a girl, and I was the guild leader. And I'm like, it's kind of weird. But we did it anyway. We started flirting, going on walks in Goldshire Inn. Taking her on Elwyn Forest walks. It was beautiful. I knew her. She was so hot. Oh, wow. So she was so hot. And then one day, we're in Firelands, 25, man. And I hear on her mic, and she goes, I love you. And it was a girl. Because I never talked to her. And I fell in love with her right there and then. I said, I want to date and marry Death Rock. So you didn't even hear her voice, and you were in love with her, too? Yes. And I got so in love with her, my friend Marco, who's a freak doctor. Mine were just on Discord and Pixel Gun. I started on Pixel Gun in like Minecraft Pocket Edition. But there's more to my story. Okay. When we doxed her, we found out she wasn't real. How? We found out that she didn't exist. She lied about her last name and everything else. We found out the real truth was that was her brother. And her brother told his sister to go on the mic because I was giving him 
extra stuff in the guild. Gold, armor, and love. So you basically got Yeezus. Wow. But I loved it. So you, you, lo you loved him. See. Pretty gay, you know? Bisexual? But in the poggers community, it's okay to be gay. Both communities he is. I'm gonna let you stand there. Then why aren't you fist bumping me if it's okay? I didn't want to touch you. Yeah, every girl says that. Alright, so, <laughs> early Twitch, 2011, 2014, alright? This is like, one in chat if you were here for this, you probably weren't, okay? So, this is the old, old, old Twitch. This is the, the oldest times. These are the oldest frogs. They're probably 30, 40 years old if you were here. I have a lot of old heads, you're right. Yeah. So, 2013 to 14, the donation button was implemented by, do you know who Rectal is? No. Whoa, that's cool. That's crazy to me. Show me a picture. That's crazy to me. Maybe if I see him. I mean, you might not. Oh, no. 1989, golly! Oh, my. Wait, he died. Yeah, yeah. So, Wreckful. Oh, rest in peace. He, uh, he was kind of like a... Uh, he was like a pioneer of the website. Mm. So he was constantly getting donations and like setting donation goals because like I want to make this into a job. Because mm. back then there was no ads. There's no Twitch Prime. No ads, no Twitch Prime, no subs. No nothing. There was no, no way to make money. Not even subs? No. There was no mm. subs. This back then this was there was nothing on this platform to make money from. Mm. So Recful said, Why don't I make a PayPal and you guys can donate to it and give me money? And he would tell his chat, if you all give me $1, I can start doing this as a full-time job. So back then, uh, back then, uh, were there subs? Oh, there were subs, but no one did it. <laughs> Literally no one cared. Like, people just did donations and they because they wanted to get recognition. Right? Oh my, I just got a donation um, from... So this is one of the moments. So back then, what started happening is these big oilers came in. That's where the name came from because they were mm. from Saudi oh. or they were from uh, the East. And... They would give them insane donations. Like, you know, nowadays everyone gets like gifted subs. Mm -hmm. Back then, like. It would be crazy dumb. Your guy. Yeah, I'm so high. like, Rex. I haven't clicked it yet. Clip, I don't know how much it's going to be. I'm pretty sure he gets. Oh, man. Dude, oh. he got $21,000 from one guy. Oh, man. I have a bunch of I was tied. I was tied with Rexful, but now. Now it's gone. I had my I had my glory days. Wait, so this. Uh, and that's Soda on the other call. And Soda also got money from this guy. Uh. What was chat? How much money did this guy give? What? His name was like Amhai or something. I forget. I think he gave both of them like twenty k. So this guy, Jeez. this guy came in, and this is where the original name, like do, do W community members, say Euler. They're starting to say it now. So that's where this came from. Mm. It's from the basically these streams. Let's not click it. Everyone guess. Not to say that though. An Euler. I thought it was something bad. What? But then I started saying it recently. You could say whatever you want. Everyone guess. Pull, I guess. And also, dude, he's at 8K viewers, but back then he ran the website. Wow. Like 8K. So he was like the top. Yeah, you were the, you were a god. If you had 8K viewers, you were a god. That mm. was not a thing. Like you were you were the man. Mm. I haven't clicked Watch it. it I have no idea. That's crazy, cause like now you get like big donuts and you're like, oh, they're gonna charge back. They're gonna fuck my bank up or something. Everyone thinks one dollar. Like, now people nah, think gonna, like, like 8,000 small. That's crazy. Well, back then, the thing is, they also had, uh, like, think about now, like, when you give subs, like, your name pops up, you get recognition, there's an alert, all this other stuff. But back then, when you would give subs, it was, or, or donate, that was the only way to get recognition. And these guys would get, like, their name on their stream for, like, a month. Yeah. <laughs> 21 Yeah, because, like, the top. It's just, like, $1 more than, than you got. Mm -hmm. Okay. 21000 and one dollar. <laughs> like, that is the worst. So yeah, that's what it was like back then. Yeah, but it's really know. interesting you said you didn't know Rectful because, uh, yeah, that's kind of nuts. Yeah. So 2012 is when things started to pick up. League of Legends, WoW, and StarCraft started to blow the f*** up on Twitch. Started being huge. Um, people started to, like, this is when there's this thing called Raise Your Dongers came out. You're not going to know this. You've never seen this in your life. Is this like life. a song? 
It is a song. But people used to spam Razor dongers to everything. Because there was just no emotes on Twitch besides, like, these. So they started just putting random sh like, ASCIIs. Like the Japanese, like, emojis. Like, like you, you ever get one of those, like, big in chat that you have? Oh, I you, love those. Yeah, so that... The, the, the Robin Robin. So mods, your chat, go ahead and spam as many as you want. So those ran Twitch. Like, people just spammed. Because mm. there was just hardly any moderation. There was no... You could just do whatever you want. And you could just spam the Harvin Marvins and do whatever you wanted yeah, to I do. I love the Throbbing Marvin. Yeah, so they were called Hydras back then, like the Hydras. But uh, there's Patrick. All, all that Patrick. stuff was. Yeah. Wait, I want to see that. You might not be able to because. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the one of my mods spam it. Don't be a. Come on, put a, put a Patrick. <laughs> in. But the chat looked like this back then. There was like three emotes. That's low key fire. Yeah, it was. It was. It was mostly just t text. I don't have them. <laughs> but what's interesting is your community, the W community, was also more text, and now I feel like they're getting more emotes. Yeah, hell yeah. Like you guys started with just W and L. W and L, and then like now we're starting to do like emotes. Yeah, stop copying us. So, uh, dongers. Then this thing called Twitch Plays Pokemon happened. This is when I got on the Twitch. This was Twitch plays Pokemon, like the Twitch Rivals or something, or no? No, 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 I'll show you. So back then, this thing called Twitch plays Pokemon happened, and this was like all over the internet. Uh, this this took over the internet for like, or, or like Reddit and oh, everything. Oh, like the, where you control, the chat controls it? Yeah, so the chat was controlling it. This is when I got on Twitch. So they had the beat Pokemon Red, ah. and I'm pretty sure the end had like 50,000 viewers, which back then was like, it was never a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and like, did you, there's, so what's crazy about this is all these characters, all these names, AAATTV, like people made full on lore videos about it, like on Reddit and things. What? Yeah, there was like actual, like, full on lore videos about Twitch Plays Pokemon. Uh, the, what, do you, what do you have to say to it? Like, what could you possibly say? Well, because the community, it was basically like RPing. Mm. So they made stories about it. Like, I, I forgot some of the stories, but they like, uh, tried to summon things and talk about it. Uh, I mean, this, this video is kind of like talks about more of it where it's a 51 minute video. Mm. But this video, Twitch Plays Pokemon got a lot of people into uh, Twitch. Because mm. it, was, it was insane. Uh, they did this thing called Lord Helix, which is like the Helix Fossil. Mm. And they like praised it. And they would call it their god on Reddit. Is that weird to you? Reddit's scary. I feel like. A little bit, yeah. Aren't you guys like Twitter people? Yeah, but it's like Twitter is like a watered down Reddit, I would say now, especially with the communities. I feel yeah. like Reddit is more moderated than 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 that. Like, dude, I feel like on Reddit you can't say anything unless like I I let it go. When Twitter, you could say whatever the f and if it, the community posts are usually wrong ninety percent of the time. Mm. So yeah, Twitch plays Pokemon was huge. Like that's how I got into Twitch and a lot of other people did because it blew up all over the internet. It was kind of like one of the first things that really grew up like blew up on the internet about twitch and then later that year amazon bought twitch for a billion dollars Damn. so that he bought it they bought it from those two guys for a bill i i would have sold it too for that much for what it was back then you know i mean shit you t if you got a bill and then just put it in nvidia or you put it in all in crypto you know what i mean i think the guy is actually a crypto fiend who made twitch so he probably put it all in crypto mm. something like that Damn, did you like League of Legends? No. I, I don't like it. Do I look depressed? Don't you joke about being depressed on stream? No, I don't. Oh. My chat says I'm depressed. I'm not depressed. Are you sure? Are you, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? Like a 2? Then you're sad, like, you're getting there. At least you didn't say negative or something. Beginning of third party. Oh yeah, better TCB. Well, how happy are you? Uh, I would say like I'm a cool six point five. That's cool. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. But I'm not depressed though. Okay, that's good to hear. So, <laughs> the beginning of third parties began. This is soda pop. Have you ever seen this emote? Uh. No, I don't think so. It doesn't look familiar. That's Forza. Hmm. So, 
this is when emote culture started to get bigger. Forzen's community became like the community to make all the emotes. So they made the Gachi songs. You ever heard a Gachi song? No. Gachi. You're not going to, you would never have heard it. So it's, uh, let me show you an example. Someone like me, a Gachi song. Like this is like, hmm. What's like the Gachi song I can look through? Oh, it's in there? No, this is Radio Kappa. Radio Kappa. Oh, is it in there later? Okay. So, Forza's community became popular. Soda starts the W emote trend with Soda W. So, like, that's like the wide emote, mm. right? And then this guy named Nim made a bunch of music, which kind of started music on Twitch. So, this is 2015. So, you're still, like, five years away. This is one of most. play it? I wanted, it. I wanted to hear it. You want to hear it? I want to hear it. It'll make you no sense. You play, like, one second. It'll make no sense. Ready? It'll make zero sense to you. Nim HS proudly presents... Radio Kappa. Hello, Twitch chat. Did you guys know that Forson loves stereo effects on cancer music? Follow the snow chugger. Clap your hands to the side you're hearing. Type Pog Champ when it's centered. The pleasure is not. And you listen to it yet? Yeah. And you're 100% right. Back then, this was like top tier shit. People love this stuff. So okay. the thing to do back then to be a good streamer, it like started the idea of like emote culture and community. And the guy Forzen was the guy. Like he kind of started emotes on Twitch. Mm. Like his, because his community just took it to a whole new level with Better TV and Franker Z, where they just made everything. Every word had an emote. Everything was an emote. Everything was a meme. And they kind of started that whole thing. So like, this is 2015. You've got PogChamp. This is when PogChamp started to blow up. Uh, ease, this is when the Pepe started to be used a lot more. Mm. You got, you know, Feel Strong Man. So why did like Twitch just like take the Pepe and ran with it? Because I think, that's a good question. I don't know. I think it's because it just, it I just mean. just fit? Well, the, the world of the internet is like the frog, right? Back then, mm. Back then, Pepe the Frog was so huge on 4chan and on all the other websites. Mm. So they kind of, and a lot of Forzen's community were 4chaners. Because back then, 4chan was like huge. Mm. It wasn't just like a place for like people to go search up weird ass porn and My Little Pony shit. It used to be a place where most people went, or a lot of people went. So now they, that's where this Pepe started to blow up. And they kind of brought it over to Twitch. And they can just like customize the face and make any type of emotes, like just like a default. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they started that. A very famous one was this one, which was uh, Papega. Pe Papigia. Yep. This is a Papega. Papigia. Why did you say it like that? Is that how I'm you Italian? Say? Okay. So this is Papega. This is the original Papega. People liked it. Wait, what? There's Nam. This was a very popular one in, in the EU world. Mm -hmm. They started to spam Nam. Uh, Feels Lagman. This is mm -hmm. a popular one. And there's Rare Parrot Dance or something. It's Rare Parrot, I think. It's Rare okay. Parrot. You're a popular well, What's a Blobfish? This one? Yeah. What, what would you spam that for? <sighs> what was this one? I never... Sp ditto. It was literally just Ditto. No, I'm, I'm talking about that ugly-ass Blobfish in the corner. That Jack Hansen. Oh, this is one of Fat Girl will go on stream. Wow. Let's did keep you, going. Did, did you just... Huh? All right. Okay. So, this is like the more... Oh, wait, whoops. This is like the more, why is there a tree? Oh, this is like the more, uh, you're probably like, what the they f is going his on? Nipples? Yeah, uh, okay, so this that is- That kind of looks like Canute. Like that, a, a young That is the nipple. best compliment you can give the Canute. This is Canute's idol. Really? Yes. So how do I explain this? Forzen's community started to get really like, they just pushed the narrative. They just kept pushing and pushing. Mm -hmm. And then they started to push to this guy named Billy Harrington who was blowing up, I think in Japan. But he was blown up because he does gay porn. So the internet started to fall in love with uh, with with this guy a lot. And Fortune's community took it. And they made Billy Harrington popular for like five years on Twitch. Like literally right before you joined, this was everywhere. I know that sounds and hard that, to believe. And that emote of him doing this? Yes. Is, it, this shit is was... Him getting back shots. Yeah. yeah it's, oh, this is all sex. How was this allowed? Because Twitch, no one gave a f 
Oh wow! Yeah, this is 2015. But now, but like you, they would you get banned for having SpongeBob shaking ass on Twitch? You know, that's actually a very good point that you're able to have these emotes, but not that. Yeah. But the thing is, like, he's not shaking ass here. He's taking back shots. I know, but you can you can tell that he's getting back shots. Like, you know the context of that. I also think that if Twitch ever got rid of or did anything to Billy Harrington, people would f***ing kill them. Oh. Like, well, are they mad about attack. the Bible thumb? Uh, did they remove that? I mean, yeah, they removed it. But the thing is, people aren't really upset about it because you could just add it on 7TV. Mm. It's like, all right, like you, 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 you took it off, but we could just easily use it still. Um, Seven TV kind of, in my opinion, ruined Twitch, like the culture of Twitch. I world. feel like it ruined it because people barely like sub for emotes now. Like they're all, I, I can just put your shit on Seven TV. I don't need your, or I can just find a new one. I know. Yeah. That's why I feel like it ruined Twitch. I feel like when I was on, like when I started streaming, like emotes was like a big thing that would get me subs because like I would be a part of community. They were like, oh, Mari has easy emotes. Let me like sub to her. Mm -hmm. And now it's like. And now they TV. can just take your emote and put it on 7TV and not yeah. tell you, not give a. Yeah. But one problem that also happened with 7TV, I feel, is that there doesn't need to be an emote for everything. I feel like emotes used to feel like, oh, I'm using, you know, an XQC emote here. And it made people go like, ooh, an XQC sub. Like, it, it felt more like a community with subbing, mm. when nowadays it feels like you're just subbing to see the number go up. So I personally think that 7TV is just too much. I thought Franker's, or, or Better TTV was fine, but 7TV, I think just with all the emote spam, is just a little bit much. Mm. Like, I liked this era, but I'm also an old man. So this was all popular. Gachi was everywhere. It was all dudes having sex. Jeez. It was all this guy, Billy Harrington. So, like, his community started to make songs about it great gas here let me play this one so this one is basically what they would do is they would take the song like him having sex and turn it into music ready you whoops All those sounds are him having sex. There's someone I know who's like that. He might be like a, a, He might have been like copied or something. I don't know the word for it. You know who uh who is it? Chat, who is it? Like the ones from my chat. Fuck, what's his name? He's like, I'm about to come. Dreamy Bull, Dreamy Bull, Dreamy Bull. <sighs> yes, Dreamy Bull, Dreamy Bull, Dreamy Bull. Do you know who Dreamy Bull is? No. <laughs> Who's Dreamy Bull? I'm looking him up. <laughs> so one thing we just did there, uh, Mari, which was a huge no-no, is you paused. We ma you made us pause the song. I'm sorry. You can't skip, or they'll get very upset. So you really? have to. Yes. Are you upset, Chat? Yes, they're. I'm at. I don't have to look. I know they're upset. I don't, I don't want to finish the song. Don't stop! Don't stop! Don't stop! You make me come. So, so those claps are him smacking ass. So that was, I'm telling you, this was Twitch culture for like four years. You have to know and learn these things if you want to be, you know, you want to I think I learned enough from the 30 seconds I listened to this. 30 seconds is pretty good in my opinion. I, like I, I, can, you, can you look up Dreamy Bull? Yeah, I'll look him up. I wouldn't show the stream screen though. Dream Bull? No, you can look it up on YouTube. Yeah, Dreamy Bull. This is interesting. I'm I'm learning things that you guys are, are you know. Oh my god. No, 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 play this one, play this one. Go back, go back, go, go. Just look up. I'm about to, uh, yeah, I'm about to, yeah. This? Yeah. I'm about to go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So is that him actually, uh. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. There's a flag one in my face. What the f That's him? Yes. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, all right, that's him. So, yeah, like, he's a modern-day Billy Harrington. That's great. And yeah. it's great to know that that kind of legacy of being gay lives on. Yep. But then, like, you would, like, see the transition of him being like that to, like, him playing, like, a persona, like, OCT on, like, a saxophone. What's OCT? O-S-T. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Original sounding track? I, I think, yeah, that's what it stands for.
So yeah, there's like thousands of songs, thousands of memes. This guy named Nim took it over. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, Pokemon Go. So this was the greatest time. Mm. This is the beginning of IRL streaming. When people would run around with computers in their backpacks, trying to figure out how the f to start IRL streaming. When people were wandering the streets, trying to make anything work with IRL. So, this is 2016. Pokemon Go was released. Did you play Pokemon Go? A little bit, but I didn't like it because I would have to go outside. Like, I would only play it in my room. And you can't really catch a lot of Pokemon in your room. Why did you not go outside? This was the, this was a phenomenon. Everyone was out having fun and talking. It was one of the best summers of my life, 2016 summer. I mean, I was e-dating, so I didn't really care. So you were just in your room e-dating. Yeah. Where was the guy from that you were e-dating? I'm not doxing that. A state? I'm not doxing the state. Because he'll, he'll be like, oh, she's talking about me. Okay, was he far away from you? Yes. Wait, why does it matter? I was like, what? Did you ever meet him? No. See, I met my e-date. Well, that's good for you. I was a little-ass kid. I don't think I could meet them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I met one of my e-dates. Uh, she went to a school that was like three hours away from me. It's I... not e-dating. What happened? Like, how did you meet her? Like on Discord or something? Or did well, you? Well, were... my friend, my friend uh, back then it was called Skype. So we were in a Skype call, and she was in the Skype call, and then we started hanging out, and then I met up with her, and uh, she was like a very skinny white girl, mm. and that just ain't me. Are you sure? I'm positive. So, um, the birth of 2016, wait, the birth of viral streaming on Twitch began, and this was Pokemon Go was released. I don't want to fit. And Twitch you. lets people go outside. So this was like a very fun time. Like, the world is changing. People are going outside. This was some of the best streams of all time, because it was so interesting, right? It's like, mm -hmm. nowadays, people IRL streaming is like, yes, you could do this, but back then it was the Wild West. You had no idea. Like, you got to realize, something that they missed out on this whole thing this era of Twitch, right here, or the oh. this era, 2015 before it, mm -hmm. you had to stream games, or they would ban you. Really? Yes. They would ban you. Yes. Like the initial, because of what? Okay, so this is when Amazon took it over. Yes. So they would ban you for streaming if you weren't streaming games. So if you took like a huge break for an hour or two while you were streaming and not, and you were just talking to your chat, you would get banned. That's f up. Isn't that insane to think that that was real? Yes. Yeah, they would ban you for for not having uh for not playing games. That's up. So what people would do back then is uh Wreckful would play you ever heard of a game called Hearthstone? I heard of that, but I never So 2014, it. this is how Forza became really popular is uh <laughs> you search it. Why the f can't my computer load? So uh Hearthstone, Wreckful era like this era okay, what now people we used to do. This game is so like it plays by itself. Mm. That it was kind of like a half IRL talking, half playing the game. Mm. Because before this, this is 2014 15, you had to play games. So people would just play WoW all day or like League. Mm. But this was kind of like, oh, I'm playing a game, look at me, but I'm also just talking, talking in my chat. So then what was really interesting is Twitch implemented something called the just eating category. Just eating? Yeah. So you uh, can take a break on your shift to eat. Yeah, so what was it called, chat? Does anyone remember what it was called? Social eating? Was that it? So, uh, Twitch introduces <laughs> social eating. How crazy is that thing? What? So, you were allowed to eat when you went to this this area, but you weren't you weren't allowed to do this stuff on your gaming area. That's crazy. So, you can't eat while you're gaming. You you can, but this was the place where they were like, you can socially eat. So, you can hang out with somebody, you can talk to chat but then you have to go back and play your game. You can't just sit here all day. What? So uh, I think at one point, uh, he got on the news for it, right, chat? On the news for it? Push out an eating section. So now I have a game to stream. Now, I can't eat McNuggets every day, because <laughs> then I'll get fit. So I decided I'm gonna eat vegetables. I got a party tray. So he would go live and other people would go in this category because they liked their community, but they didn't want to stream games. Mm. So they would go and just eat stupid shit to try to get past the whole thing. Oh, I so wait, chat, where's the, there, there's, he got on the news. I, I know, he, I remember him getting on the news. Does anyone know? Like, I think it was on like CBS or something. 
It was definitely somewhere. Insider edition, CBS. No. Oh, here we go. Wait, it did watch. Brand new social platform. What? Social media. Users Watch craving interaction eat. are now actually watching people eat. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch has more. You don't want to start eating until I know this thing is working. This broccoli does not look tasty. So I'll let you know something. In this era, 2014, I wasn't just a Twitch viewer. What were you, Ahmad? Mari, I was the biggest loser. You can. I knew everything. I was the schizo. So you would be like typing paragraphs? Or no, anything? never, never no. typed. Because I just knew one day I might be a streamer and it'll get back to me. And boy, did that not pan out. But I never typed in people's chats, ever. That's crazy. Nope. But you know all the lore and everything. Well, that's why it's interesting you came to me. Would you? Because I knew so much lore. Do you know how I started becoming a streamer? No. So I knew so much lore about all these streamers. Oh, you made documentaries. That I made documentaries on them. So is that how you got big? Yeah. Oh. I, I made a video about Tyler one that's at 3.3 mil. And I made all these videos and then I would just upload their reacts. And then this is how I got my start. Damn, you didn't really do a lot of them. What the f you don't mean what the what? I like, I thought I would see Ludwig or like Cutie or like, like you stopped that like Ninja in Asmongold. Jones, this was six years ago. Ludwig wasn't even a thing. Where's like the grind? Like you didn't like, oh, let me keep doing this. This grind's right here on my sub count. Check that out. It's, okay, but you just flex that to me. I know in the W community, this is basically like a 300 viewer streamer, but to me, this is a lot 300 of 300 viewer streamer, that's fucked up. I don't what? think I ever, I, I think my highest was like five. No, it was 4,000. Damn, where's the grind? Yeah. Not, and not just letting you know, Ludwig started in 2019. Cutie was like nothing. Wait, when did Cutie start? 2019. Oh. Back then, this was like the streamers. Like I could have done like Summit 1G. Do you even know what that is? You should have done Pokemane. Oh my god, I should have. Yeah, you should have. Done so Pokemon. the problem with this is when I started meeting these people, they were like, "Dude, you're just a huge <laughs> viewer." And I, I couldn't even like deny it. Like I was the hugest you think viewer. That it up like, oh, if I come, if I come up to you, like, oh, I love your stream so much, Miz. Can I please be on your stream, Miz? You think that would it up or no? I didn't say that to them though. Oh. I, I you say just knew because of the video. They just, well, I, yeah, I was like, it was, so apparently this is a story. Do you know Soda Poppin? Uh, I heard him, yeah. So Soda Poppin, I was a big fan of him. This guy, you ever see him? Mm. Yelled at me in World of Warcraft for a while. Yeah, I don't really know him. But. So Soda, I went to his house. This is like 2018, and I was just meeting all the streamers. Mm -hmm. So I go to his house, and I was a little tipsy. And I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this, but apparently I was at the house and I sat down with him for like 30 minutes just talking about how great he is and how awesome he is. And I'm like so glad to meet him. And then the next day they were all talking about how I should not have been at that party because I was a viewer. So like coming off like that is going to be like, you think I shouldn't do that? Is that your advice? Are you? Are you, you I'm asking you, like, should I be like... Cause I'm not you don't like, give off that vibe. You give off like I'm cool, like I, I it's whatever. Oh, my, to me. my or is cool. You give off like good. Yeah, I give off straight viewer vibes. Like mm. I knew everything. I knew more about him. He was like, wait, I did that. I'm like, yeah, dude, remember this March 13th, 2007? Like you did oh, this. Oh no, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Why are you like listening like? <laughs> well, you're listening like a SpongeBob episode, like season two, episode 17. Uh, but but Mari, that's what it was like back then, like the Mitch Jones era, like all that stuff. Like it was just a, it was seasons, and it was. I sound like such a dork. Yeah. Yeah. Cinna was like that too. Oh, wait, Cinna was? Was she like a huge fan? Of me? Yeah, it was annoying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think I remember seeing like the first stream she was on. Or I think it was like a Monopoly stream. That's when I first saw her. I don't remember when I first saw Cinna. I think the first time I saw Cinna is when Wajito said, yo, this girl's here. You want to meet her? And I said, okay. Mm. So this is the eating category, which it is interesting to think like she, you... Like, You're just eating you in front of me. Would you eat that? Ah, oh, mine. Yep. Mine. Let me adjust the camera. Everyone else is a grill. I'm lucky to be a guy on here. Oh, it's good back good. good. What? It's a salad. Well, this is the actual oh. news. They're faking it. Called chicken tinga, but I've added oh. tomatoes and olives. So back then, too, Twitch chat was very sexist and racist. Sexist? And racist. Sexist, like how? Like how bad was it? Oh, they just shit on women all day. Oh. Like it was just not. Like women. They would call them like. Sluts and shit. It, it, it was, yes. 
I know chat's saying still is. <laughs> you cannot compare old Twitch chat from 10 years ago to I the Twitch like chat today. It's not even comparable. What it, like, it was terrible for women. I feel like the, the pogger side is, like, girls can, like, there's a higher chance for girls to, like, be bigger. But on the W side, it's like, they're like, oh, girls. Just, oh, have bitches, Here's, here's the truth, Maureen. Yes, you're right. But that's because they're young. And just like a lot of my chat was around at this time and they grew, mm -hmm. it will change as time goes on. As they get older into their later 20s or, or whatever, or, or even like late teens, I don't know they're at, they will get more like that. The W community will be more accepting towards women and watch them. It's just right now they are all young. And what do young kids do? They hate women. But they want to have sex with them, but they hate women. It's just sucks though, bro. Cause it's like they'll they'll just be like, oh, like I won't watch her stream. She's just so boring. Girls can't be funny. Uh, like that's really how it is. Yeah, and you're gonna get a lot of those people. And the thing is though, and one person I do have to say took a lot of the heat back then for all this kind of shit was Pokimane. So Pokey was the original like e girl, mm -hmm. and she for like five years just got nonstop hate. Um, some of it she obviously deserved her stupid ass shit she said, but. A what did she it, say that was like crazy? Th that like for me to get better content, it was so stupid. Uh, like, like, did you guys like ever beef? No. No. Oh, but, that's nice. but, uh, she got a lot of hate. Alinity got a lot of hate. You know, Alinity. Yeah. I was gonna pull up a clip if you didn't know her, but so Alinity, uh, they got a lot of hate back then. But it's the same thing for you guys. Like I'm telling you, as they get older, your community is young. Mm. They will also like women a lot more. Who's Milo? Uh, Alindy's old cat that she threw. Yeah, I, I saw that clip. So yeah, that was a very that was a very popular clip. I was one of the only people that defended her too. I was I like, that's what I found out about Twitch was when that happened. I Wait, so you know. that that clip made you a guy? I, I don't think when was that? When did that clip happen? Like two thousand eighteen. Yeah, I think I made my account in like two thousand eighteen, and like the first person I followed was Pokemon. Yeah. All right, so this was basically how it was. There was an eating thing that was happening. Uh, they were eating on social media. Everyone was going crazy. Look at all the tryhards. Like, for what? <laughs> There's no chicken or anything. Why are they spamming that? They just spam tryhard for everything. They had like four I emotes. I think they just like the emote. I don't think there's no racism behind that. I think they just like the emote. It, it's a pretty cool emote. It's like a happy fella just enjoying life, you know, with an afro. Can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah, what? Did you use to spam that email too? You'll never find logs of me now. I never spammed emotes. But I will say this. Before you guys, like the W community was you here. You guys? You guys? And girls. Before you guys were here. And before even the COVID era. Before all this stuff. Come on, bro. Was the Come on, bro era of 2015 to 19. Or like 2014 to 19. 18? You got to understand something. This is real. Back then, people would say, like try to get the N-word to be played on streams. The hard R. Really? And the chats would laugh. Wow. It wasn't like they were like, oh, you know, this is bad. A lot of times, they were laughing. Like, haha, someone got the N-word with the hard R through the entire TTS. That's what it was like in 2017 era. 16, Damn. 15 era. That was like one year before like people started like migrating. Yes. Damn. Like there's a very popular song. Pray. Yep. Tales. Did you ever hear the bad version of this? No. Like can you mute it on stream? So I can hear it. Life is like a You wanna hear it? Yeah, you can mute it. So this is what people would try to get through. I, I wonder if it's even there. Someone tried to play it on my shit. Really? Yeah. Um, is that your sister? That is my sister. Huh. See, look, look, this is literally forcing the guy I was talking about. Life is like a... Hold on. Okay. 
So that's where it would be at? Yeah. Wow. So, but this is what people did, and the come on bros would be spammed, and people would be like, but like back then, this is before even this era, it was like people would laugh at it. Like people were constantly trying to get that stuff out, and Twitch didn't really have moderation like crazy like they do now. Mm. So it was, it was, it happened. Twitch only really started doing crazy moderation like 2016 for it, but it, it was bad. Uh, it, it was, it was insane. So that's what I'm telling you. Like it was a different world back then. Mm. So that's when someone was in the car. Honestly, that was, uh, listen, I'll say this. My logs are way worse than that. What? Oh yeah. Bro, I was an edgelord. I was the kid in Rust 1v1s in Call of Duty saying the worst thing you can ever imagine. I said everything and anything that you could possibly think of. I was a bad kid. But the truth is, when I was that bad kid, it was more accepted. Do you remember when iDubs made a video that had like 50 million views when he said the N-word with the hard R? I know, but iDubs is iDubs. Like, that's like... Don't people not fuck with him no more? Not anymore, but that's because they call him a cuck. But but back then they were like, oh my god, yes. Like, 2017, he was like, everything's okay or none of it's okay? Everyone's like, preach, bro. Like, we should be able to say anything we want. It's either all okay or... But it was such a dumb logic back then. But back then, that's when like that culture was around where people just said as much worse things as you can to, to make people react. Laugh or, yeah, or laugh. Yeah. That was it. Hmm. And that's when I said that. And it was I, like Call of Duty era, so like I understand. And you know one of the reasons why I stopped being like that? Why? Because it Brands? No, because it just stopped. Like mm-hmm. the internet in 2018 just kind of got away from that and stopped liking it and stopped being funny and interesting. So I, it just kind of stopped and I just never really, I never even better. I never even really thought about it. I was just like, yeah, like it it, it was dumb back then. You look back on it and you're like, why did I do that? But back then it was just people said like that all the time. Mm. Like it, it wasn't, and that's just it. Like it, it kind of died in 2018. Like I was probably like the last one I sent before like, you know, I stopped. But um, what's really interesting and people don't know this in the W community is I got exposed for logs in 2019. So it got re like. Mm-hmm. But my lo- so my logs got leaked in 2019, and you know it's crazy how the difference between nowadays and and back then when it got leaked, like how people would like react. Yeah, no one cared. Yo, yeah. I literally went live the next day. No one cared. You know what's crazy though? I feel like people make a big deal of stuff like just so they can have a topic to talk about for a week, and then they forget about it. That's the thing. Listen, at the end of the day, it was a funny meme. Bruce went insane about it. Uh, it was a fun time. I enjoyed my life, you know. Um. Anyway, wait, wait, so who even like exposed it? Like, anyway, so we're gonna go back to uh, talking about anything else. So, uh, <laughs> wait, what happened at TwitchCon? What happened at TwitchCon? Like, you met Bruce again? Like, oh, yeah, I met Bruce. Are you guys cool? I never disliked Bruce. Oh, when he went, when he went insane, I'm like, I, I literally was saying to myself, I'm like, there's just something wrong with him. Like, that's not Bruce. Oh. Like, I was like, that, I, that's not the Bruce I knew. I was like, he's just going through something. I mean, it was bad. Like, he. You're blocked. Are you still blocked? Are you gonna try to call him? Should I? <laughs> when was TwitchCon? Ten nine twenty, right? Something like that. Okay. No, that's Dean so cool. Wait, where the? F- that is so racist. <laughs> no, it's Dean so cool. What's the other one? Wait, that, that literally, literally was Dean so cool. What's the other one? Who's here? Oh, oh, dang! dang. Mac already? Yeah, that's next door. So. Yeah, like you only did a twenty-minute workout. It's next door, so it's like. What? What did you do? Like, it's actually, thirty minutes. Run for five minutes. Well, so I do a full body, so I did a... Mm. Please leave your message. Why are you pressing me right now, Marty? I'm just asking. I'm just position? trying to get your routine. I want to, you know, get buff like you. Yeah, well, I did overhead, overhead barbell press, lat pull down. Russell, get in the camera if you're going to talk. What is, this? Like, <laughs> the, what is Russell, what is the point of talking if you're not on camera? Like, I'm sorry. Like, Dude, what yours okay. Is? Yeah, sorry. Sorry. I know that... Okay, I, wait. Russell would know. know. Wait, Russell would know. Russell, 2017, you were around Twitch, right? Yes. 16. Yes. Wasn't the chats actually racist? Yes. Wouldn't they, wouldn't they want to try to get the N-word to go through TTS and shit? Yes. 
all the time. I mean, people were still saying the F word in 2017 on Twitch. True. Yeah. And it was accepted. No one cared. Yeah. Yeah. People I mean, were still that's saying like that the shit. older times, you know? You can't. Bro, I didn't watch like, that now. I'd watch Cash Nasty back in the day and people were being racist in his chat. Really? Yes. Wait, he would stream on Twitch? Let me teach you yeah. something. The word, you know how that people say, oh, those are Twitch frogs? Yeah. Wasn't the word frogs. Wait, what? It was, it was not what? frogs, it was the F word. And that's what we used to call each other. That's what I mean when I say it was just a different time. Way different. It was literally, and it wasn't like you thought about Damn, it. Should like, I say frog anymore? So it, No, it doesn't matter. But back then it was like, people were just like, wait, frog? Uh, or or they, That word was meant nothing. Like it, it literally just meant like, you're stupid. Mm. So people called Twitch, and then that's why they started using the word frog. Yeah, I don't want to use that word no more. And now there's new frogs and old frogs, and you new, the, the word frog was still used in that. that <laughs> switch it. That's what people used to say. Yeah, Ooh, they well, actually Pope, would. Pope said. Like, yeah, gay frogs. Wow. Yeah. Flamboyant frogs. There was a lot, there was a lot of different frogs. Raj yeah. Patel was a... I don't know who Raj Patel is. You know, you know Raj, Raj Patel? Patel is? Who's Raj Patel? You, you look him up? The thing is, it, he... He's not... Oh, he's not, that's he's not alive him? anymore. Raj, Raj Patel's dead. It's now Austin Show. Oh, so that's his name? Yes. So back then, he oh. was called Raj Patel because he played as an Indian character on RuneScape. Oh. Yes. So he was a Indian character, and then the Minecraft community started to grow, and Austin realized, and when he was smart, he said, I have to change my brand <laughs> because this is cancel culture area now, and I need to change my shit. So he changed his name to uh, Austin Show. Hmm. Here, let me, is let me, his name really Austin? Uh, yes. Oh. And the reason why his name was Raj Patel is because he was friends with all Indian kids when he grew up. Oh. And they he would do Indian accents when he would call friends on a uh, on shit. I'm mostly here because you Also he never showed his face. I have a really nice face and I kind of want to sit on it. Oh. Um, <laughs> that was cutie hitting on Chance? But besides That's I mean perfect. I have a I have, Soda I have a question. Oh. Can I ask one question, Raj? Yeah, sure, please go ahead. <laughs> Where's like the old Raj? We can't go too far back, but like yeah, like if you're from Europe, the bathrooms and you... Yeah, that, that's what he used to talk like. <laughs> what the heck? Mm -hmm. Yo! Yep. I mean, is that... Am, am I wrong to say that's kind of funny? No, it like, was it's funny. Like it's, like, it's not even, like, really f***ed up. Like, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. No one cared. Nobody cares. No one cared. Back then, dude, he was around for seven or eight... He was nine, ten years ago. No one... No one cared. Literally, nobody cared. It was funny. It was... It was good. I mean, he had to change his brand because back, it, it was smart when he changed it. But uh, did you know, you didn't know any of these kind of shows? What? Like you've never seen like a... Uh... I've seen like the... In front oh, of 93... is that the host or like love or some Yeah, so these are lover hosts that used to happen. So this is when he was Austin's show, but like you would have um, this era. I'm mostly... So a lot of the streamers that came to Twitch or like that are bigger now mm. started on his show. And a lot of them, if they're not big now, they're on kick. Wow. Yeah. So cutie got her start on the show. Damn. So yeah. she didn't know no one like before then. She was a nobody. Why are people saying Titty Tuesdays? Titty Tuesdays was a very popular show where they would get <laughs> girls with big tits to go on the show and one guy what? would be in the middle. So Bruce started on the show. Oh, that's how you met Bruce. Yep. So wow. I first met Bruce. Wow. Um, oh my gosh. I love knowing about all this little... Hassan thing. started on the show. Hassan, really? Hassan, yeah, I mean, Hassan did have a following I chat. Thought, like, he was already big. He was. He was big on the Young Turks, but he got popular on Twitch from the show, and he used to hang out with a guy named Destiny. So they would play, like, they would, you know who Destiny is? Yeah, blue-haired freak. Have you seen that one picture of him? Like, when he's by the beach? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm gonna let you know a little secret here, okay? Why they're crazy? You don't talk about Destiny's community. I don't. Blue hair? Don't do it. Trust me. The blue hair? Just back away from the conversation. So anyway, so Cutie Cinderella would really do really good on the show. 
Um, and she was with some blue haired freak named Destiny all the time. And they would basically do the show, and it was really funny. Uh, Cutie got her start here. This guy named John Zerka got a start here. Oh, nut. Uh, you Canute got a start here. Yeah, Mia Malkova did not get her start here. Damn. Um, but S Fan kind of got his start here a little bit on the Twitch scene. So this is like the origins of OTK. It's the origin kind of a, lo a lot of streamers. This was like the first like big thing that would happen where everyone would kind of come together. Okay, Pokimane. Pokey was on there a lot. You have E Rob kind of. This is one that E Rob and I did. <laughs> These were, this was Titty Tuesday. So here's how it would work. You get the four tits. I see one tit. It'd be like this. Hmm. And I would be in the middle and I would have to talk to them. But yeah, this is this was a lot of uh So there was always like there was just always like girl content. Yeah, he did a lot of these shows. This girl named Invader V became really popular. Oh my from gosh, it. I've seen her. Yeah, yeah. You've seen her from the one clip? No, I seen her just in my recommended, and I go on there. She's like, "Oh, you piece of shit, give me subs." She's beautiful. She's amazing. Well, she had this one clip. It's like, oh yes, you definitely. You this is like one of the most popular me. clips of all time now. Oh no! Then what the f is stop? You've never seen this. Then what the f is? Oh wait. Then what the f is stopping us from just throwing ourselves off a bridge and giving? And saying, yeah, the planet is dying. The government hates us. The animals are leaving. The aliens aren't contacting us. We point. Like, what's the topic? What do you mean? Like, what would she like? Oh, her? She's yeah. psychotic, but she's really good content. So she sleeps. This is her. She has all of her stuffed animals, and she basically lives inside this thing, and it's her little hut. And she's a queen. I've always loved Invader B. But that's th those are some of the characters that were on it. But but back to what I was saying. So <laughs> So, Twitch chat was completely different back then. The world was different on Twitch. Uh, then Pokemon Go started, and a lot of people started to do... Uh, IRL became a thing, where you basically can go outside and do content, right? Um, but there was still no just chatting. Mm. So you still had to be outside doing content. So you had to play Pokemon Go. Um, but this is when uh, people would just play Pokemon Go. This was probably one of my favorite eras ever on Twitch. And you... Then had people like Tyler One and Greek. They started doing variety content. Mm. Where they would just play random games every day. And like people loved it. It, it was like some oh, of their great. favorite content ever. It was really good. Mm. Now this is someone I think getting swatted. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So people were getting swatted a lot doing... Uh, swatted? You know what that is? Yeah. But yeah. like... Outside? Yeah. Jeez. So people were swatting a lot back then. Because it was a lot harder to get caught. So people were swatting, and they swatted Summit. They swatted a bunch of people. They swatted streamers all the time. Uh, but it was really interesting to watch as a viewer. And then there was Tyler One playing like Arma with Greek. Who the f Yo, who are you breaking out? <laughs> Good times. You need most important thing added in 2016. The most important thing added in 2016 was. Ah, it With was. Time. So Twitch got bought by Amazon. Okay. And then Amazon gave a new feature, which was Twitch Prime. So everyone was like, oh my God, that's crazy. You're telling me that I can get free subs? Yes, if you link your Amazon account. And this is when people started to actually subscribe. There were still no gifted subs back then. Mm. So you had to get... You had to get actual people's money. Mm -hmm. So Pro Twitch, Twitch still wasn't big. And you know what's crazy back then? There was no ads. Damn. There's no ad revenue. How are you making like that? Yeah, I swear. I wouldn't have been able to survive. So, to give you an example, uh, some of the most popular streamers back then, I remember one of them I used to be close friends with, and he told me in a pure excitement, he was getting like 15,000 viewers for eight hours back then. Mm. And he got so much money. He was like, this is one of the biggest donation days of my life. I made so much today. Guess how much he made? 1,500. 1,200. And that was him streaming for 10 hours straight or something like that with 15k viewers. Damn. I know. You it, do that nowadays and you spam ads, you get like a good ad revenue on that. But back then, like that was, the money was all through $3 TTS or 420 Damn. TTS. Like people just, it, there was no money. So then they made Twitch Prime and I was like, oh, there's, now it seems like more money's coming to the platform. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're, so Twitch Prime chat, as you guys know, is a free service. You already know all this. This is pointless to even talk to you guys. I got some time. So. These are some of the popular emotes of 2016. What the fuck is that black one? 
above. So this, remember when I said that the community was a little. Oh my, they just like completely like <laughs> changed the whole Yeah, thing. so this is called Zulu, Zulu. Uh, this is when they were popular in Africa. Like, mm. Forzen's community made it. Again, like I said, Forzen's community made all of this. Like, this was all his community. What's the salute thing about? This? Yeah. Okay, comrade. Uh, it's just a dumb emote. I'm pretty, I don't know if Twitch added this. I don't think they did. Mm. It's just dumb emotes. Ha ha became very popular. Uh, as an emote to like hurt streamers. Do you ever see this emote? No, like to say that you're not funny or you're something. cringe. Stop. Yikes. You're not funny. Pepe Pains became like a, a variant of this, but not as toxic. This was a this is like a really toxic emote. It was this in Resident Sleeper. Mm. Um, we're really toxic. So toxic, I banned it from my chat. <laughs> so this was, and you're still. This is before you. IRL streaming is huge. Wreckful and Soda Poppin went to Japan, which was a really big time. Mm. Doc Disrespect blew the f*** up and was kind of like the king. For like, Doc Disrespect was kind of like the guy on the platform that people looked at. Like the face of Twitch, basically. Yeah, he was definitely one of the faces, if not the face of Twitch. He was huge. Damn. So, then, in this era, Poggers came into big play. And that's when people started to spam Poggers. Pog Champ got replaced with Poggers, pretty much. Mm. And then you got the dumb drawings that, like, hypers <laughs> started to get posted as well. So... You know, you had these emotes, stupid stuff. Those dank. You, but you could see, like, the, the Pepe starting to get changed a little bit, right? It's yeah. like It's going from, like, the 4chan look to, like, more of just stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you have this cute people thinking. Stuff like that. What? <sighs> Why are you in front of a... An RV? Yeah. Do you not know anything about me? No. We should skip this slide. Why? No, 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 no. I want to see. I want to see. So this is when Fortnite blew up. This is when Twitch, people say, became normie, right? Okay. This is when people say that Twitch changed. This is when people say that, you know, the normies flew into the world. Uh, Fortnite blew up. Ninja's averaging a ton of viewers. Do you remember Ninja playing with uh, Drake? Yeah. That was like the beginning of all this. So it was huge. Twitch was getting massive. This was probably the biggest year ever in Twitch. And then they added just chatting as well, so you could start doing stupid stuff. Uh, I went on an RV trip, and that's kind of how I got known. Mm, so that was your big break, basically. No, my big break was all the hard work I put in through it, and before it, and after it. Um, I don't really think I've had a big break. I think I've more so just had a lot of work. But uh, I put okay, in work. Okay, okay, but what what was something that actually like oh like sp like spiked your growth? Like you seen a big huge my wit. So well, you say I have wit, so uh, you can invest in my stocks, right? I don't want to touch you. We're, we're not there yet. Are you? Why are you so quick to touch people? I'm Italian. Is there you guys like really like hands on? Yes. What the? F okay. You never hung out. Have you never hung out with an Italian person before? I know one friend who's Italian, but they're not like they hug, but they're not like you know. No. So I mean, Italian people like they go like this. They go like this. They, like, go Baba Booey. Like, they're very, like... Baba Booey? I don't describe it. Like, when you're at an Italian get-together, like, everyone's like, hey, how you doing? Like, that's how I grew up. <laughs> Nailed it. Get the cannoli. So... Did you ever do a cannoli-making stream? No. You want to do one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Should make cannolis. So, I went on an RV trip with this guy named Paul... Um, anyway, everyone starts playing Fortnite. I went the wrong direction. Um, One Direction was also popular. Ninja played Fortnite, became really popular with Twitch Prime. And Tyler, one, at this time was banned at League of Legends. And then he went like full Damn. variety. So Tyler was variety for with that guy Greek for like years. And everyone mm -hmm. loved it. Then he got on banned from League of Legends and he never went back. <laughs> like even today? Yep. Seven League years. of Legends can't be that good. I feel like that that is like, I, that is like people's Valorant. I don't get it. I'll never I, I understand. Love, I love Valorant, and I'm sorry to say this. He he basically went to League and never looked back. And he admitted it afterwards. He's like, I hated those times. He's like, I hated the variety. Really? Because mm -hmm. he hated the stress and dealing with it and thinking of games. He just wanted to sit there and play League of Legends. That can't be fun. He loves it. He There's something with Tyler. I don't know what it is. He just, it's, it, because E-Rob tells me, like, uh, he, like, sits me down by a campfire and tells me stories on Tyler. He's like, dude, he's been like this since I met him. I've known him <laughs> since I was a kid. <laughs> Look at Chad. 
There's yeah, he might have autism. Mm. So uh Tyler gets some band, basically ditches variety. But what happened at this time, which was interesting, is XQC got banned from mm. Overwatch. So XQC was I don't know if you know this, he was a he was an Overwatch like pro. A pro. Yeah. And then he got banned uh surprisingly. Uh for cheating? No. No. Um XUC got banned in Overwatch. Up to the enemy bench of some dude that has like a broken arm says, Get fucked! I'll burn! Boot! I fuck I smoke you, dude! No. No, you didn't smoke shit. Uh, no. Shut your f mouth, go back there, suck a fat cock. Uh, I mean he would like it, but so many games ahead. Love you. All home of little Like, what the f is the stream? So this is what it was like back then. But he got banned because in one of the streams uh he that's i don't even know what it is but he got banned for saying putting a try hard in chat what yeah that's why yep that's up he put a try hard in chat i'm pretty sure that was it right he put a try hard seven that was it and i think they thought that he was revoking it to a black person mm. um he told a commentator to suck a dick yeah something like that so um Tyler one gets some banned, then XUC gets banned, and then this is when he started going into variety. Because before this, all he did was Overwatch. Mm. And then you could see like the emotes just start getting crazier and stupider and make no sense. What's the straight face when I saw that before? Uh the straight faced emote. Uh which one? The one in the middle. This? Forward? Yeah. Oh. So this emote started to grow a little bit. It wasn't anything crazy. What made this emote grow was there was actually a moment where E Rob killed my uh, my polar bear, I don't want to talk about it. Your polar bear? Yeah. I had a polar bear named Xavier, and E-Rob killed it. And then... Wait, I think I've seen that clip. It was like an inflatable one or something. Yeah. So, this is actually interesting. So, before... Chat might not know this, but before E-Rob was popular, he was a bum and a loser. And he lived with me, and but we had... <laughs> we would just hang out and do, like, really funny, dumb skits. And it was really fun. For, like, five or six months, right? And then... His community was kind of whatever. They were kind of just a mix of my community and, like, two other people's, mainly mine. But what made E-Rob's community become what it is today, that toxic, terrible place where they just attack him all the time and just shun him, he killed my bear named Xavier, and his chat just started this. My chat started to spam, you will rue the day, Lamont. <laughs> just like that. So they started spamming that like crazy. And... I basically E Rob went live the next day and everyone just shit on and hate on him. Like he got a hate thread. Everyone was shitting on him, being like, dude, what is wrong with you? So like you're the reason why he's like the butt of like every joke now, right? I mean, you know, it's like it's not really me. I, I wouldn't uh I wouldn't take the it was really my fucking pet Xavier. I, I mean, <laughs> so you like you can see here, I had this pet for a very long time. I got him in a P.O. box and it was one of the greatest things I ever got. And then um you brought him to a party? Well, this is my this was my old house. I wonder if there's a, the clip still of, of E Rob doing it. I don't know if anyone will have that, but he beat the. F oh wait, it's right here. So this is me playing Smite. Chat, do I save Xavier? Do I kill? And he put me in one of the hardest positions I would say I have ever been in my life. Where I either played Smite or I had to save my bear that I loved very much. So I played Smite. And Xavier died. And E Rob ruined the day. And that's how it all happened. What made him go in there and beat it, though? I don't know. Did you, did you ever get that out of him? No. I hardly looked at him afterwards because uh, he knocked a girl up and moved to Kentucky. So anyway, let's keep going. So everyone starts moving to Austin, right? Uh, uh, Hassan and Destiny stop being friends. This is a very big uh, moment. Uh, me, E-Rob, Comedy Russell, and Darion all we get a house together. And we start doing what now is considered clip farming. So yes, I was the original clip farmer. And we would purposely do skits in my room and do stupid stuff to farm clips. 
You want to be the OG clip farmer so bad. Show me an example then. Are you clip farming? I mean, dude, this was clip farming. Every my whole like literally all I did was farm clips so on my. So you post. just said Xavier's death was clip farmed. Yes, death is farmed. I farmed it all the time. Of course I did. I mean, like me, her, like you know who else did it, who farmed clips? It was because live stream fills back then was so popular. Cutie Cinderella would farm clips like crazy too. Chat, give me. Your Out squad. Uh -oh. So that's Cutie fixing Xavier. Yo. Wait, so you knew her at that time? Yeah, I, I, I met her on the show, and so Cutie... Cutie fell in love with me. What? Very hard to believe. Right? And then what? Well, then she saw Ludwig, and she's like, well, that's better than this, and she left. She never looked back. But back in this time, QE was insanely good content. Like mm. she was like, she would farm clips as much as we would. She would come over to my house and just farm clips like nonstop. She was so good. She would play like the heel. You know what the heel is when like you're the bad, bad guy. Let's go. No. So she would play like a bad character sometimes. Like she would try to like, uh, she would do anything that was, that was for content. And she was so good. Like she was sewing this thing for hours just to fix it for really? content. Yeah, she was really good, but we'd farm bits. I mean, we we didn't call them clip farm. We 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 call it just doing bits in our room. Mm -hmm. um, like you guys playing a character or something. Yeah, the, I mean, my, chat. If you if you have them, link them. Uh, <laughs> I don't even I don't even know, but the a clip. But this is what we used to do, um, in like two thousand like nineteen. Mm. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what was that? No, play it again. What was that? What was that? Did she just meow? <laughs> this was one of the girls I you used to talk to. Yeah. I didn't even know. <laughs> this is me and Q. That was his egg. I can catch ten eggs in a row. Just throwing that out there, so guys. Long. Somebody said, "Oh, he's being oh." oh. <laughs> oh <You're> my. <laughs> no reason, no anything, <laughs> just did it. I want to go home. But it worked. Bro. So we used to do shit like this all the time. You're like a Ronaldo. Like, you acted like Ronaldo back then. Now, I don't think so as much. Nah. I think you toned down. Nah. Oh, yeah, no, no way. But nah, I was more like, I'd say I'm not like Ronaldo. I'm like a mixture of like... Mmm... <laughs> Not Ronaldo. What's what like the the what's that dude name? Lacey. No, Ronaldo. Stable. No, the dude who plays soccer. I know it's not that guy. Yeah, but Chad was saying sweet, sweet. No, no, no. They know it's him. Maybe. I mean, I, yeah. Ron does kind of similar things where he just farms clips and bits and just yeah. does stupid shit. But it's fun. Yeah. So that so but that's what we used to do back then, and it farmed like crazy. That's kind of how I got big. Is I used to do that. Um, but. This was a, a 2019 was like, everyone starts moving to Austin because it was the better area to be in. Then we all stayed here. Um, great time. Uh, the reason why I moved here is tax purposes and soda popping was here. Mm. That's really it. And then they started making music on Twitch. No, it's been too bad. What do you mean? All the all the music stuff you're never involved in. I'm in some of this. What do you mean? Where are you? Uh, if you, I don't know, like somewhere. I'm in like three of these. These are my viewers, Lamau. Why'd you do that? Lamau. What do what do kids say nowadays? Uh, like an actual like human being. Lamau. That's like me saying Rolf. That was funny. No, I stole it from chat. 
You ever just like steal jokes from chat? <laughs> no, I never do. I, I've never stolen a joke from chat. YouTube.com slash three two six four four nine three three. I've actually never stolen a joke. So then you have Wide Hard became a very popular mode on Twitch. Uh, random emotes started to blow up on Twitch. This Kirby one didn't blow up really. Four Weird started becoming way more popular. And uh, you just started having stupid. So this oh, was the era. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I know this era a lot. You probably know these eras now. This is when... Uh, Damn, OTK was created in 2020. Mm -hmm. I thought that was, like, earlier than that. I thought it was, like, 2017. Wow. Wow. Why'd you just mock me? Well, now. So... Oof. So, 2020, Fuck Among you. Us takes over. And then, did you know that Soda Poppin' made Among Us popular? No. That's because you didn't even know who one? Soda Poppin' was. Are you, it's like, okay. So you made me forget, because you be talking, and I forget what I'm going to say. Okay, keep going. So Soda Poppin', this okay, guy. Okay, wait, so. <laughs> okay, so he found Among Us, like, just by himself, like. So this guy, Pluto, who's a Twitch mod. Okay. Was very close friends with Chance, Soda Poppin'. Okay. And he goes, hey, try out this game. I think it's fun. Ooh. And Soda played Among Us, and that's literally how Among Us was made. Wow. That one Twitch mod who found Among Us mm -hmm. literally paved the way for all these streamers. Made a multi-billion dollar company and got nothing out of it. That's kind of f***ed up. I would at least pay him like a, you know, $5 or something. Like, I don't know. But what this also did, this was obviously the COVID era, and Among Us blew the f*** up. Fix a Skittle up. No. Mm -hmm. Well... Among Us got huge. Mixer was another website. Microsoft's ad failed. VTubers started to pop up randomly. Hot tub streamers. This was popular. Lol W, Keg W. You know that org emote? No. Dude, I have not felt like. That's from that, but it's from four years ago. What? You've never seen the e -Rob clip? Oh, the, the ogre? Yeah. That's from this four years ago. Damn. So that was recent. That's recent to you? Yeah, four years is recent. And Doc got banned. Doc got, yeah, we know why, though. Well, now we do. Oh, I like the kiss a homie one. Well, back then, we didn't know why Doc got banned. We just thought it was like some disagreement. We didn't really question it when we should have. You guys were like, fighting for my king. He's banned for unrightful reasons. And then, like, he was Kind of, yeah. <laughs> we didn't know. I mean, we know he cheated on his wife, but that became a Damn. meme in five minutes. Four million views. Yeah, you know, I have not felt like being like. <laughs> you know, I have not felt like being like. Is anyone else like this? Like, bro, look at his chain. No, why is the chain like so thin? <laughs> bro, back then we didn't have money like that. <laughs> bro, you're lying. Yo, we. You see how big that house is? You don't got no money. Where do you see a big ass house? Look like at the see Manhattan how apartment. Tall the salad, the ceilings is. That's just Texas houses nowadays. The chandelier. I never had a chandelier in my house or my apartment. That cha that chain on the chandelier looks as good as this chain right here. <laughs> that this looks like. Shit. Wait, how old was he here? Like 24, 25. Damn, that's sad. I know. Like, well, like the, the main thing is like the hair. It's like I don't really see girls that are bald, but like guys, you can see like they're balding, like just so early on in their lives. It's, it's really sad. He had a tough life. He had to go up against Tyler. Wait, did you go to like Turkey for your hair too? No. Oh, what was the hair transplant thing you, that you were doing, though? I went to New York. What did it do? <laughs> Fix my hair. My transplant looks amazing. It looks the same like the clip, but just your hair's grown out more. Okay, so Mari, if you're going to keep shitting on me nonstop, I'm never going to hang out with you again. Sorry. So, 2021, you know the shit. This is when uh, subathons became really popular. Uh, PogChamp was removed because this guy, Gutex, who was the guy who made PogChamp, uh, said weird about January 6th. Okay. Twitch added this hot tub section. Ludwig had a month-long subathon. Damn, that, that was 2021? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, um, the, this is when the W community started to really pop off. Like, you got <laughs> Aiden Ross, guys, so I'll tell you about the W community, right? Uh, Aiden Ross gives the Poggers community its name to differentiate the communities because he had a beef with Ludwig at the time. Damn. Wait, how do you even beef with Ludwig? Easy. What? What? 
I don't know, you, you, Ludwig just said shit. He probably made Aiden piss, and I was on Aiden's side for sure. He was? Yeah, what I was. What was the beef about? I don't remember, but I remember there was beef, and they were mad. Damn. Oh, was it gambling? No, I don't remember the, I, I don't remember what it was, but it was something where Aiden, it was Cutie and Nick. Oh, maybe it was, but Ludwig definitely said something that pissed off Aiden, and then I guess that's, I didn't even know that, that that's how this, Damn. uh. It was because Aiden's were spamming that, oh. Oh, they were spamming that Cutie was fat. Aiden's chat was doing that? I guess. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, the W side are just like. Like, I know, like, your side is, like, you know, you have, like, the stragglers that are weird, but, like, W, they just hate women. Yes, Mari. They don't They're hate women. They're going to hate women for quite some time. <sighs> At one point, you're not going to believe this. I was a young man. And when I was a young man, all my friends, we hated women. We would talk, we would chill on them, but we were in love with them. We wanted to date them and follow them wherever they went. What? That's how guys work. You wanted to follow them? I wanted to follow them on every social. <laughs> Why did you word it like follow them whenever they went? Like, well, because nowadays in 2024, when you say follow, you assume it's on Instagram. Okay, uh, emergence of the W community with streamers like Aiden Ross and Kaisenet. Okay. Yes. So this is when everything became popular. Gambling streams were huge. This is then 2022. Our place. Yeah. Our place was absolutely massive. Uh, Elden Ring became big. <laughs> GTRP was blowing up. This is when everything happened. Look, we're begging for money. You know this, post-COVID, you know. You are blocked, ass. Don't ever come at me like that ever a day in your life. <laughs> now go back. What are you reading? Take your time. No, you no, are no, blocked, don't ever come bitch at me ass nigga. Don't and ever come at me like that ever. At TwitchCon. You know what's crazy? You want? I'll show you something, and I'll only show you. Okay. You ready for this? I'll, I'll sh I didn't even come to him. Pause. I swear. Watch this. Ready? No, that's not it. Wait, I was about to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. God damn it, Russell. Sorry, guys. You're scaring me. Hold Where on. are you going? Out. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. I found it before, just... Do you not have his number saved? No, because he, ch he changed it. Because I was... Um... Hold on. Bruce, wait. Um, wait, did he? Did I imagine all this? <laughs> Was it in your dream? It's my hair transplant doctor. <laughs> what, is he checking up on you and your hair? Yeah. Wait, I, dude, he definitely, no, he did text me. Wait, I. Can't you just look up the keywords that you remember in the search bar? Uh, I can't put that word in. What? Yeah, he was being pretty mean to me in the messages. Uh. What? What did he say? <laughs> Can we go with wrestle? No! It. I'll. Oh, wait, did I. Wait, I think I found it. Uh. No. <sighs> Just give me a sec, would you shut up? Remember. I didn't say anything. No, these are recent it's messages. It's not hard to look for a message. Oh, let, me look, let me look up the word sorry. Bro, there's going to be so many that pops up. Not really. <laughs> uh, Can I type it? Hey, you're going to leave my messages to chat? I don't care about your messages. Um. Okay, what word is it? Bruce. You don't want to type that? Wait, I saw something. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> I found it. No, Chad, it was nothing. Dude, Wait, I think it, I found it. 
Look, he messaged me after all the fighting we had. See? I, we got into a huge fight, but in the end, he messaged me first. And if I check my phone at the time, he said the first message, and the first message was, love you, bro. Damn. That's the first thing that he said to me. It's not even like the love you, it's the bro. Like, you still calling me your bro? After all that? Damn. Wait, what should he have called me? <laughs> Wait, can you mute it? Okay, never mind. Me and Bruce are not cool. Wait, he banned you? I don't want to get into that. It's like a, it's like a little bit of lore. Should I say it? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not even like on like some like me bringing it up just like for attention, okay? Because like people love doing that. But um, so I was a mod, right? A lot of people's chats. I was a well-known mod, okay? I was in a lot of people's chats. I was like a little ass kid, like what, 15, 16 around this point. And, you know, I, I've known a Bruce since 2000, 2018 when he was still doing the monkey videos. Mm -hmm. So, like, I followed him on Twitch. I'm like, oh, this dude's hella funny. So, I'm in this dude's chat, right? I, as I am, I am in anyone's chat. And I, I think this was around the time where I started streaming and I got partnered. And his chat was just like, he was talking about, like, how, like, oh, you need to stop watching these girls, girls play GTA or da, 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 And, like, all these mod stream like, pe people modding for streamers. Just, like, insinuating, like, Talking like about me, mm -hmm. and I'm like, bro, and like all the chats like adding me, basically all the chats adding me, and I'm like, man, what the f shut up, chat. <laughs> so like he he bans me for that. And no, he doesn't ban me. He ties me off for two weeks, and then two weeks come up. I think he told me. I think he said that I give him aneurysms. <laughs> so that two weeks is up, and then like I type again, and then he ties me out again. Right Ooh. or something like that. So I I DM a mod and I'm like, yo, can you on <laughs> can you on time out me? And then he does that. And then after that, Bruce bans me and the mod and like gets mad at like the mod and like, oh, you need a oh, I don't know why you doing that. You doing that? Oh, but he Bro, that's not like Bruce at all, huh? That's not like him at all. But but anyways, like yeah, he didn't like me because of my upbringing, because I was a mod in people's like chats, and he thought like. And I'm you glad know, you apologized to him and solved that problem. I didn't apologize to him. I didn't hear that. Didn't so anyway, this was a really fun time in my life. 2023, loved I apologized. it. Apologized. Hmm. 2024. Kai Senat blows up. Queso exists. <laughs> Iron Man is the thing. Speed is the biggest person ever created. Um. I got like two sponsors. And then. Oh, the story of Pokimane. We'll get into that next week. Next week? When did I agree to that? Oh, look. Did I get 100 gifted? Oh, it was 50. That's so crazy. <laughs> Wait, 50? Holy Yo, Koala Cola, thank you for the 50. Yo, the big 5 0. I, I turned off my alerts. Got an asshole. Fuck. Yo, Koala, thank you for the 50 gifted, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for the 50 gifted to my channel. I really do appreciate no, it. No, thank no. you. Wow, bro, you. What? Like, you're good to me, bro, not her. Like, thank no, you. No, no, no. Thank you so much for gifting Miz while I'm on his stream. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Because without her, you wouldn't have gifted to me. Wait. <laughs> you, you said it right. You said it right the first time. And what do you mean next week on Miz's stream? Who said I was going to come next week? 